What's been the successful Sheffield Hallam Boxing Club over the past two, three, yeah. four years that you've been running it? Yeah, our last season was the most successful season for, for both universities. I think mm. in total there were three gold medals, three silver medals, a bronze medal in British University Championships. Um, and like I said, we've been working with both unions, or we have them for six years now. Mm. So we're getting students in here, some that are boxed, um, some that have had other experiences, that have never competed. Matt, who's done a bit of mixed martial arts, come down here and transferred over to boxing. He's had a fantastic season last season. Um, and again, you know, having having a gym full of these good kids when we're getting when we're getting students in, you know, they only got to look what's in front as long as you put them off, you know. But you know, these lads will work with them and, and bring each other through. And we've got we've got Joe in here tonight, who's not boxed. He's been what well, training about eight months now, he'll be ready to go in September. So he'll be boxing for the club as well, getting some experience. We've got Joel as well, who's had a, a couple of bouts, but again, he's come here, it's about getting him experience and then university championships, trying to pick something up for the university. And then onwards, really, it's a good good stepping stone, bit of experience, and uh, yeah, and then they can box for this club as well. And I'm Matt Shaw last season, he had a busy season. Uh, and he come back with uh, Yorkshire novice belt. Uh, so, you know, Matt, he's, he's going on to having nearly 20 bouts now, Matt. Yeah. So we're moving on to, to op the open class section and championships. So. Yeah. so what's it like training down here at Sheffield City ABC? Oh, it's excellent. The yeah. set up, set up the class. Um, we do a lot of technique, which is something I love doing. I love practicing, so. Yeah. yeah. So you've been here for, is it your second year now? Yeah. So yeah. You, Second year, um, third year's a placement year, which yeah. I've got in Sheffield, which gives us next year of boxing, which is the main yeah. goal. Yeah, so two years of uh, training down here at Sheffield City, um, come from a um, cage fighting background, mixed martial arts. <laughs> mixed martial arts background. Um, how's that transition been? You know, you obviously. Uh, we're hugely committed to MMA and quite successful in MMA as well. Yeah. Um, what's been that choice to uh, actually, right now, I'm going to be an amateur boxer? Well, I first came to Sheffield and there wasn't any MMA gyms. Mm. So I thought the worst part about my MMA game was my stand-up. Mm. So I've come to a boxing gym and I've just mm. fell in love with it. Yeah, and it's great, like, kind of the people in the gym as well. Yeah, you've been got a bit of footage of you. Uh, sparring with Callum and Will. Yeah. Uh, how kind of valuable is, is that kind of sparring for you? Oh, it's excellent. It's not just the sparring either, it's yeah. them as role models. Yeah. You see them, how hard they work, and mm. you know if you want to get to their level, you've got to work as hard as them. Definitely, and you've got a good coach in Brendan as yeah. well. Uh, how, how impactful has he been on your boxing development? Oh, he's been excellent. He works with you one-to-one, -one, puts a lot of time in you. I mean, he's never out the gym. Yes, yeah. he's dedicated as we are, and that's what you need in a coach. A few little obvious things when he, when he first come that you could see in, in his style because he'd not boxed before. But uh, you know he's got a great work ethic, and he also takes instructions on board really well, and he's also looking to learn. So with him kind of kids, it's pretty easy. Um, yeah. You know he follows the lead, he sees what everybody else is doing, he's, he studies everybody else, when, when people like Cal and ex more experienced mm -hmm. lads. The sparring, Rizard, you know, he's here looking and seeing what he can pick up. So he's always thinking, Matt. And yeah, uh, yeah great season last season because, you know, uh, I think he got stops his first bout a year uh, on our show. And then to come back from that stoppage and put all the hard work in and get the success that he yeah. did, you know, shows a real strength of character as well. Yeah. And we've got him now for another couple of years. He's got a placement here uh, for another year. He's got another year at uni. So another couple of years. Yeah, could have had 50 bouts by then. Yeah. So you've got your boxing science top on there. You've been working with boxing science for a while. Yeah. How beneficial has, has that been for your strength and your fitness? Yeah, um, never done any strength and conditioning before, before mm. I came to Sheffield. Uh, first year boxing here, I didn't do any either. And then Brendan mm. pushed it on to us to get down to boxing science and give it a go and have to come on leaps and bounds. Yeah. Last year, winning that gold medal, first title. Yeah. As, as a boxer, how did that feel? Oh, it was excellent. It's just all the hard work's paid off. Yeah, and are you looking to progress for this season? 
Well, I've got the novice championships in mm. middle of September. I want to go all the way and win that and then build on that. Have a good season. Uh, really good link up and it's important to us that we have that link with education mm. as well. Um, you know, there's stereotypes of boxers that if they, if they weren't in this gym, they'd be burgling your house. Yeah. yeah. Which, you know, ain't true. You've only got to look down here. But also, you know, we've got kids here that are doing degrees and they're coming in and boxing. You know what I mean? It's not uh, it's not just a mugs game. Yeah, for sure. So, finishing off on Bo Hallam Boxing Club. Yeah. If anybody's watching this, uh, why should they get involved with uh, Sheffield City ABC? Yeah, well, like I said, we've got that link. We've got a link there. We, we, we do a non-contact session down at... Alan Muni, so fitness based, a little bit of skills in there, but all non contacts. I'm not going to get black eyes and mm. flat noses and stuff. And then, obviously, the sessions, if they like it, they can come up here. And, you know, it's not for everybody, but everybody can take some art in it. So if, even if it's just, you know, they want to come and get fit, then that's fine by us, you know what I mean? And we'll, we'll separate the people that want to take that step further and get through the ring. We've got Varsity, um, yeah, Alan versus Chef View. So a lot of people come in and they want to do that. Mm. You know what I mean? And they might be the only thing they do. They might, you know, want to get through these ropes. But you can do that more or less anywhere now with, with white collar boxing, where they mm. offer you six weeks mm. training and then they chuck you in the ring. That ain't going to happen down here. You know, we like to see that people have, uh, have got a got a grasp of the skills before they go mm. go into a bout. But like I said, as a, as as to get you through them ropes. There's no better really than that varsity show with a 900 sell out crowd in yeah. the first bout, you know. Um, and, and rival be, before, between both universities, it's, it's a cracking show. And a great way, like I said, Matt, Matt coming here, a mixed martial artist, uh, just wanted to do work on his stand up game. Um, it's ended up boxing in uh, two varsities and books championships, gold medalists. So, you know, you can start like that and progress. Mm -hmm. Joe's never done any boxing before, he's going to be having his first bout this season. Um, so, yeah, you know, it's open to anybody and it's not just competitive boxers. Mm. People want to come here, keep fit, you know, take some out, out of the boxing, take some away from this gym. Mm. And, yeah, that's, that's all good in my book.